So, Mali, today's lecture is going to be on uh, sea turtles. It will be conducted by myself, Abdul Azhar, and Tisanka Atanayaka. Uh, Mali, if you all have any questions, uh, please wait till the end. We'll give you all a QA session. Like, uh, we'll give you time for a QA session. So, yeah, if you all have questions, just uh, write down a piece of paper and just wait till the end of the lecture. We'll give you all time. Okay. If we could move on to the next slide. Yeah, so Mali, uh, this is kind of like our content, Mali. So we'll be starting off by uh, introducing uh, who sea turtles are. Then we'll move on to their body composition, type of sea turtles, habitat, diet, behavior, hunting, reproduction, importance to ecosystem, threats, and finally, uh, how to conserve sea turtles. Yeah, next slide. Yeah, so Mali, uh, sea turtles are large air breathing reptiles that inhabit tropical and subtropical seas throughout the world. I, I think all of y'all are familiar with sea turtles. Uh, in Singhala Mali, uh, don't mix it up with, it's, in Singhala, it's uh, Caspava. Don't mix it up with Iba and Caspava. The, uh, there is a difference between tortoise and uh, sea turtles, Mali. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, there is a small video. I prepared already, so if we could move on to the video, I think you all get a better understanding. The intro part, yeah. Sea turtles are ancient mariners. Present in all but Earth's coldest oceans, these marine reptiles are well adapted to a life on the moon. Sea turtles have existed since the time of the dinosaurs. The earliest known marine turtle lived about 120 million years ago. Named Desmatochilus padeli, it was six feet long and had the characteristic features of modern sea turtles, including a carapace or top shell and paddle-like limbs. Today, there are seven species of sea turtles, with the largest being the leatherback. Growing as long as eight feet and weighing up to 2,000 pounds, it is larger than known fossils of its prehistoric ancestor, D. padeli. Sea turtles can lay more than 150 eggs at a time. Called the clutch, these large egg deposits help ensure the survival of sea turtle hatchlings. Once a female lays her eggs, she returns to the sea, leaving her hatchlings to fend for themselves. Fewer than 0.1% of hatchlings survive to adulthood, in part due to numerous predators on the beach. Emerging in large numbers increases the chance that some will survive. A sea turtle's sex is determined by temperature. Unlike most vertebrates, a sea turtle's sex is not determined by sex chromosomes. Instead, the temperature of the nest determines the sex of the hatchlings. When temperatures are warm, at about 88 degrees Fahrenheit, most of the hatchlings will be female. But when temperatures are cooler, less than around 82 degrees Fahrenheit, most of the hatchlings will be male. Sea turtles use Earth's magnetic fields to navigate. Sea turtles have geomagnetic abilities, which serve as an internal GPS. The turtles have particles of magnetite, a magnetic mineral, in their brains. The magnetite likely plays a role in orienting sea turtles to Earth's magnetic poles, similar to a compass. Baby sea turtles imprint on the unique magnetic signature of the beaches where they hatch. This magnetic map can guide them back to the same beaches several years later to lay their own eggs. All seven sea turtle species are threatened with extinction. Once abundant, sea turtle populations have dramatically declined in the past two centuries. Fishing is a major threat to sea turtles as they become caught in fishing nets as bycatch or accidental catch. Illegal harvesting of turtle eggs, trafficking in turtle products, and ocean pollution are also concerns. However, policies have been enacted to reduce bycatch, protect turtle habitats, and prohibit the killing of sea turtles and their eggs. By continuing this kind of intervention,
yeah, so guys, I hope you all understood the video. Uh, do you all have any questions related to the video? Yeah, I'll take that as a no and yeah, Sahan, you can. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, so Mali, next we'll move on to body composition. So sea turtles come in many different sizes and uh, shapes, Mali. Their weight ranges from uh, around 40 kilos to 700 kilos, depending on the specific sea turtle species, Mali. And uh, the upper shell of each sea turtle species uh, range in length, color, shape, and arrangement of scales. So sea turtles do not have teeth, but their jaws have modified beaks that uh, are suited to their particular diet, Mali. If we could move on to the next slide. Uh, yeah, uh, so this is also about the body composition, Mali. Uh, so they do not have visible ears, but they have eardrums covered by skin, Mali. And uh, they hear best at low frequencies. Their sense of smell is excellent, and uh, their vision underwater is good, but uh, they are nearsighted out of water. So when they come out of water, they are kind of nearsighted, but their vision is almost excellent underwater. So they have a streamlined body and large flippers that uh, make them adapt, like helps them uh, adapt to sea life, Mali. So, uh, however, they maintain close quarters to uh, land, Mali. Yeah. So, anyone have any questions about body composition? Yeah. So I think uh, no questions. So we can move on to the next one, Mali. So the next topic is uh, types of sea turtles. Mali. I think uh, if you all watch that video uh, closely, they said there's around seven uh, species, seven uh, sea turtle species, but there's around four main types of sea turtle species after, uh, you know, because of it, uh, because some um, sea turtle species have gotten endangered and there is mainly around uh, four now. Uh, yeah, next slide. So uh, one species Mali green sea turtle. So it's around uh, 160 kilos Mali. You all can uh, have a look at the picture to get any specific ideas about it Mali. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, next slide. So Mali, the next uh, type of spe uh, species uh, leatherback sea turtle. These sea turtles are actually quite big Mali. So if you look at the weight, it ranges around 200 kilos to 700. So yeah, I mean, 700 kilos is a lot. So some sea, uh, the sea turtles are actually quite big. Yeah, next slide. And uh, this is the third kind only. Uh, long head sea turtles, they weigh around 160. This is the average weight of a uh, sea turtle. Uh, so, Mali, lastly, we have uh, came to the sea turtles. These sea turtles are actually quite small. So, they, uh, they range around 40 kilos. So, these are known to be the smallest of uh, sea turtles. So, Mali, we have a small video here. I think it will summarize the types of sea turtles. Well. Welcome to Natural Hello and welcome to Natural World Facts. I'm Leo and today I'll be talking about sea turtles in the series Reptiles and Amphibians. Brief overview. Turtles are among the world's oldest groups of reptilians, having evolved millions of years ago. They can be found all over the world and inhabit almost every type of climate. There are seven different species of sea turtle, all of which vary in size and shape. The largest marine turtle is the leatherback. It can grow up to seven feet, which is two meters long, and can weigh up to 2,000 pounds, which is 900 kilograms. The average lifespans of sea turtles can vary from 30 to 100 years old, depending on the species. Appearance. The appearance of marine turtles varies between species. The green sea turtle has a wide, smooth carapace, which is brown to olive in colour. They're named after the greenish colour of their skin.
The leatherback turtle has a rubbery black shell, whilst all other species of sea turtle have hard, bony shells. Ridges along its carapace help give it a more streamlined and hydrodynamic structure. Sea turtle's colouring can range from olive green, yellow, greeny brown, reddish brown or black. All species of marine turtles have four flippers to help them swim, unlike land turtles or tortoises, which have thick stubby legs for moving on land. Diet Sea turtles are omnivores, which means they eat a diet of both meat and vegetation, although their diet does vary between species. Their diet consists of shrimps, seaweed, crabs, jellyfish, mollusks, algae, and sponges. Habitat Sea turtles can be found in all the world's oceans. The Kemp's Ridley turtle can usually be found in the Gulf of Mexico. The flatback turtle inhabits the waters around Australia, whilst the leatherback swims in every ocean on the planet. Green sea turtles and loggerhead turtles tend to stick to tropical and subtropical coastal waters. Breeding In the breeding season, females and males will migrate to the same beach where they were born, using the magnetic fields of the earth as a guide. Their migrations can be over 1,400 miles, which is 2,300 kilometers long. Female sea turtles lay eggs in clutches of 70 to 190 eggs in holes they have dug in the beach. Once they have laid the eggs, they cover them in sand and return to the sea. Once the eggs hatch, the babies will dig their way out of their hole. When free, the juveniles will hurry to the safety of the sea to avoid being cooked by the sun or eaten by predators. Status the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle is listed as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species, and the leatherback turtle is listed as vulnerable. Some of the biggest threats to sea turtles include oil spills, habitat loss, accidental catching, and even poaching. Thank you for watching Natural World Facts. See you next time. And also a huge thank you to all of you guys who have finally helped me to reach 200 subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Right. yeah, so Mali, the next topic is uh, had, uh, habitat and diet. Mali. So sea turtles live in almost every uh, ocean based Mali throughout the world. So yeah. Uh, they kind of live in every single continent uh, in the world and every single ocean you can find. They are, uh, they are quite abundant. Money. So uh, they migrate long distances uh, uh, to feed, often crossing entire ocean. Money. And the adults of most species are found in shallow coastal waters, bays, lagoons, and uh, east. Wind. Some also venture into open sea. Money. Yeah. It's like. Yeah, so when we take that diet into con uh, consideration, Ali, it actually varies from uh, one uh, type of species to another. So the first one is longer head, Ali. I, uh, I know if you all remember, we spoke about uh, four main types of sea turtles, Ali. This is one of them, longer head. So their hatchlings are omnivores, uh, meaning they eat both animals and plants, but the adults are carnivores, so favoring carbs. And then if you move on to uh, uh, green sea turtles, the fully grown uh, sea turtles are herbivores and uh, like to hang around coral reefs and uh, scrape uh, seagrass and algae. However, the hatchlings are omnivores. Yeah, uh, so this I think sums up the, their diet and habitat money. Yeah, uh, if we could move on. Yeah, so this next part we explained by uh, Abdullah. Sahib. Uh, yeah, boys, uh, so before I start, can you know, can hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, okay. So, boys, uh, so I'll be talking about the behavior of uh, sea turtles. So, before I start uh, into it, do you all know any uh, facts about their behaviors or anything you want to share with me? Yeah, okay. I'll take that one now. So, 
when we consider their behaviors of the sea turtles, so they are mostly two types of behaviors. So the first one is social behavior and the second one is individual behavior. So I'll be uh, explaining them uh, in the next slide. So yeah. So social behavior. So most of the sea turtles, uh, they don't socialize that much. So like they are known as, uh, they, don't, they are not generally considered social animals, but to a mate and all, they have to socialize. So mostly they socialize to mate and uh, to congregate offshore. Yeah. So sometimes members of some species, they travel together for nesting as the video said as well, they nest uh, in the deep ocean as well. So mostly when they nest, uh, they go together with their mate and they do the nesting there. So yeah, so after hatchling, uh, after the hatchlings uh, reach the water, they generally remain solitary until they nest. Yeah, so can we go to the next slide? Uh, boys, uh, did you all understand what it meant? Do you all have any questions? Yeah, so then let's move on to individual behaviors. As I said, mostly sea turtles are not uh, social animals. They mostly roam around alone. So yeah, in the ocean, flatback turtles, they spend hours at the surface floating and sleeping, uh, basking in the sun. So mostly birds and all, they come and stay on top of them and they do that. Uh, and uh, yeah, they frequently, as I have said, frequently see birds perch on the backs of the flatback as well. And moving on, uh, a fun fact about the hawkbill turtles is uh, they mostly, hawkbills and green turtles often return to rest at the same spot each night. So like always, even if they roam around, they somehow they get back to the place there, where they were in the start to rest. And uh, hawkbill turtles uh, spend uh, some time resting or sleeping wedged into the coral or rock ledges. And uh, olive riddle, ridleys, they have been observed basking on beaches and uh, it is not unusual to see thousands of them uh, floating in front of the nesting beaches. And the leatherback turtles, they actually tend to dive in a cycle that follows the daily rising and sinking of the dense layer of plankton and jellyfish. The turtles probably feed in the upper layers of water at night and as dawn approaches, their dives become deeper as the plankton and jellyfish retreat to deep water. And uh, yeah, so another fact I want to share with you guys is, is green sea turtles, they are considered solitary, but occasionally they form feeding aggregations in shallow waters, abundant in seagrass or algae. So yeah, that's uh, about their behavior pattern. Uh, do any of you all have any questions related to the behavior pattern or do you all have any other facts you would like to share with us? Right. Okay, uh, then let's move on to the next slide. Nature of hunting. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure most of you would have known, most of you all know they are hunting, but just to make this more interactive, uh, do you all guys know any ideas of their hunting, how they hunt and all? Anyone? Okay, so I'll take a note. So as the video we once showed, they said that they are mostly uh, both omnivore, which they feed in carnivore and uh, herbivore. But mostly they are they are generally called as carnivorous animals as they eat or they eat all the shrimps and uh, all the living uh, creatures in the sea. So yeah, let's get to the uh, presentation. So the flatback. Uh, diet is mostly carnivorous, consisting of sea cucumbers, soft corals, jellyfish, shrimps, and occasionally seagrass. As the video on said, Malay, it said that they eat jellyfish and shrimp and occasionally seagrass. So, yeah, so as you can see, mostly they are considered as carnivorous and herbivorous as well. Uh, yeah, sea turtles do not have feet to grasp their prey, but instead they have sharp beaks and strong jaws they use to crush their food. So what they do is they, as I think you all have seen their beaks, so it's uh, mostly it's uh, sharp and it's very pointy. So what they do is uh, when they get their prey, they crush their food and uh, that's how they eat it. Yeah. And moving on to the hawksbill sea turtle, 
the hawksbill sea turtle has a narrow head adapted for getting food from coral in the coral reefs and the jaws of a loggerhead sea turtles are adapted for crushing and grinding so as you can see mainly mostly they use their uh, beaks to crush and grind when they eat mostly as i said they don't have teeth uh, so they use their sharp beaks to uh, crush their food so loggerheads Shrimp ridleys and uh, olive ridleys have jaws that are well adapted for crushing and grinding. And uh, green sea turtles are true herbivores, and they dine on grasses near the shoreline where they spend their adult lives. So when we look at the green sea turtles, finally, they are true herbivores, which simply means they eat only herbivore, like they eat only plants, and the plants they eat are mostly close to the shoreline. and the other other sea turtles will also eat algae grasses seaweed and other plant plant life their primary diet consists of fish crabs shrimp and uh, especially jellyfish so as you can see they eat algae as well which helps the environment as well uh, as you can see from that itself you can tell that green sea turtles are very important for us and the environment as well Yeah, so I hope you guys understood that part as well. Do you all have any questions to ask from that? Do uh, you all have any just uh, unmute and you can ask one. Aya, is there any like green sea turtle uh, breeding grounds in Sri Lanka? Uh, breeding grounds, uh, I'm really not sure, Malay, but uh, we'll uh, check it out and we'll let you know. In uh, I think uh, we have the. Breeding grounds coming up in the next slides, uh, so we'll let you know in that part. Okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, anyone else? Uh, I will take a no. Uh, yeah, next slide. Yeah, let's move on. Yeah, so the next slide I'm going to talk about is uh, reproductive methods. So, do you guys uh, have any ideas on share before I start? yeah okay so as the video said mainly in order for them to mate they travel far away just for mating so yeah let's get into the presentation so it all begins when they migrate thousands of miles to the breeding sites to find partners for mating so during their mating actually to mate mostly the turtles they back their tail or like uh, they shake their head so like those are the signs of how they mate like they find people to mate so yeah during this process male turtles can be found attract attracting females with a combination of sounds and movements particular to each species so most while they while the males try to mate they mostly they try with their sounds and their movements so as i said some common rituals used including head head bobbing and dancing and making a clucking noise and uh, they wag their tail mostly they wag their tail but the common rituals are head bobbing dancing and making a clucking noise so in general the smaller freshwater turtle will lay between 1 to 5 clusters of around 10 eggs per breeding so 1 to 5 clusters around 10 eggs are like 50 uh, not yeah 50 eggs per breeding season and uh, they may have and they may breed every year but some only breed once every 2 to 3 years the sea turtles also have a different pattern green sea turtles they mostly have six clusters of 150 eggs every 4 to 6 years so six clusters of 150 is a lot and for the four, and uh, in a time of 4 to 6 years uh, yeah makes a lot uh, so yeah mali uh, do you all have any questions related to reproductive methods Do you guys know anything that when in the presentation I would like to share? Yeah, okay, I'll take that as a no, uh, and let's move on to the next one. Yeah, so this part will be uh, uh, said by a different guy. Yeah, so yeah, I think you can take from it. Yeah, man. Yeah. So let's talk about the importance of sea turtles to the ecosystem. Mali sea turtles play key roles in two habitat types oceans and beaches so in the oceans sea turtles especially the green sea turtles are among the very few creatures that eat sea grass 
so seagrass needs needs to needs to be constantly cut short to help it grow across the sea floor uh, sea turtle grazing helps the maintain helps maintain the health of health of the seagrass beds so mainly basically uh, the sea turtles help to protect the coral reefs uh, when we talk up, when we take the beaches sea turtles you use beaches and sand dunes as to lay their eggs uh, such coastal environments are nutrient poor and depend on vegetation to protect against protect against erosion the hatched or unhatched eggs and hatchlings that fail to make it into the ocean are nutrient sources for dune vegetation and therefore protecting these nesting habitats for sea turtles yamali so it means basically uh, the sea turtles helps to uh, control the coastal erosion in the beaches uh, are there any questions regarding this slide uh, i am uh, can you find like uh, green turtles in the great barrier reef um uh, ali i am not too sure about that we'll search it up and tell you all it okay thank you other than that are there any questions no oh, seems like no i will begin move on to the next slide yeah malli now let's talk about the threats so uh sea turtles have many threats uh, unlike the other organisms Uh, as you can see sea turtles usually lay around 100 eggs at a time but on average only one of the eggs from the nest will survive to adulthood it shows uh, that 99% of the sea turtles may die before they go into the adulthood so mainly uh, let uh, here are some major threats for the survival of sea turtles firstly we'll talk about the bycatch uh the incidental capture by fishing fishing gear is the greatest threat to the most adult sea turtles sea turtles need to reach the surface to breathe and therefore many drone once caught yeah mali so this this means that the sea turtles may uh, catch to the fishing nets that may uh, and so they can't come to the surface reach the reach the surface therefore uh, they'll die because they have no air to breathe uh, as you can see in the two pictures the sea turtles have been caught by the uh, fishing nets so it means the bycatch uh, the second one is climate change uh, as we said earlier the all stages of a sea turtle's life are affected by environmental conditions such as temperature even the sex of sex of offspring yeah unlike most uh, other reptiles the sea turtles uh sex is determined by the te uh, sand temperature at nesting beaches while developing in the egg so mainly uh, when there are warmer temperatures in this uh, sand there may be more female organisms that may be uh, a concern when they are uh, reproducting their species so like uh, there are less males when the global warming is high yeah So, are there any questions uh, regarding this slide? Uh, yeah, we can go one minute. So, Mali, yeah. one of your last the question where if there are sea turtles in the Great Barrier Reef, right? So, from seven out of the six species, actually there are six from seven there are six species actually living there as well. So, yeah, the question is the answer is yes. They there are sea turtles living in the water as well. Thank you, Baya. and yeah this is again yeah only other than that are there any questions regarding this uh, i am like do they release the fish after they like take these pictures do they like remove the net they do remove the net and let it go free right yes, yeah right. yeah so yeah. when they mostly when they see only uh, when they see other anything they release them uh, other than that yeah for these pictures and all they are, they obviously they release it after they in the video yeah yeah well and uh, there are rehabilitation centers we'll talk about that later in the presentation and 
there are some devices that can be fixed to the fishing net that uh, the sea turtles can be easily escaped from these uh, threats. Yeah. Uh, are there any more questions? Yeah, I we can know. Yeah, so the third threat is the predators. Uh, the predators is also a great threat for the sea turtles as the mo as most sea turtle mortality happen early in life. Sea turtles, uh, as I said earlier, sea turtles usually lay around 100 eggs at a time, but on average, only one egg from the nest survive nest will survive to the adulthood. So only uh, the raccoons, foxes and seabirds may raid nests or hatchlings may be eaten within minutes of hatch, hatching as they make their initial run for the ocean. Though uh, they made the initial run for the ocean, again uh, some predators like seabirds, sharks, dolphins and even though even the other sea, uh, even the other sea turtles uh, eat their hatchlings and so they are only around uh, aver only on average only one one organism will survive on, out of 100 yeah so 99% will not be survived uh, moving on to the fourth one the habitat loss sea turtles are dependent on beaches for nesting uncontrolled coastal development vehicle traffic on beaches uh, and other human activities have directly destroyed or disturbed sea turtle nesting beaches around the world. Yeah, only so uh, in habitat loss, the sea turtles, like uh, when we, when the beaches are polluted and they have not no uh, area to breed their species, it would be a threat for their survival. Like. Uh, uh, and yeah, are there any questions regarding this slide? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Madhuri, one of your last question saying that are there any green sea turtles uh, breeding breeding areas in Sri Lanka? So mostly their peak nesting time is February to April. So most there's no certain uh, answers saying if there is uh, breeding areas, but uh, there are lots of breeding areas around the Bay of Bengal, which is close to Sri Lanka. So, yeah, I hope that answered your question. Yeah, man. are there any questions regarding this slide? No, I have. Yeah, I hope we can move. Yeah. The fifth threat is the marine pollution. Uh, this is also a great threat, is a very big threat for the sea turtles because sea turtles can mistake floating, mat uh, floating plastic materials for jellyfish and can choke on them when they try to eat them. Uh, as Ayubaya said earlier, the sea turtles, uh, sea turtles eat many jellyfishes and when the plastics and polythene bags are they are in the ocean, they mistake them and take uh, take them and they die because of them. As you can see in the picture, the sea turtles they mistake polythene bags as jellyfishes and they intake them. These encounters are often fatal. Trash on beaches can trap hatchlings and prevent them from reaching the ocean. Yeah, Mali, this is also another thing that can, polythene and plastic can uh, cause for the sea turtles. Their initial run would be blocked by the uh, marine debris and the other things so yeah oil spills also poison sea turtles of all ages yeah and mali uh, the big example for this threat is the recent instance uh, incident of the express pearl ship does any one of you all know how many sea turtles has been died uh, because of that Do you all have any rough ideas on how much? Uh, yeah, about 200. Okay. Yeah, it is uh, exactly 176. So, yeah, you are correct, about 200. Like, so, uh, 
I have 176 turtles and 20 dolphins. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. So it, uh, it, 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 it explains us that the threat uh, that the sea turtles have because, uh, because of the marine pollution. So, yeah. And another threat that the sea turtles have is poaching. Uh, sea turtles Sea turtles is the black market. Uh, the black market trade in eggs and meat is another major threat for the sea turtles. This is a problem throughout the world, but especially a concern in China, the Philippines, India, Indonesia, and the coastal nations of Latin America. Yeah. Mali, are there any questions regarding this? Yeah, seems like nothing we can do. Yeah, let's talk about how to conserve the sea turtles. Uh, out of the seven types of sea turtles, three uh, all all are almost all are now almost all are have been classified classified as endangered. With three of the three of them has been classified classified as critically endangered. So to protect them, there are hatcheries to breed sea turtles and care for them under controlled conditions artificially. Furthermore, there are rehabilitation centers from which the in injured sea turtles are rescued and rehabilitated. And mainly, if possible, they are released back to the ocean as well. Yeah, so the sea turtle hatcheries in Sri Lanka are Hab uh, the Habradu hatchery, Mahamodara, Kosgoda and the Hikkadu. So, uh, as I showed earlier, the bycatch has been a great threat for the sea turtles. So this uh, turtle excluder device is, a, uh, is fixed to the fishing nets and uh, it can dramatically cut down the mortality rate. And Mali researchers have shown that 97% of the sea turtle deaths have been reduced, 97% uh, deaths because of the by poaching has been reduced by this turtle excluder device. So this is a great uh, innovation for the uh, conservation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what does device do? Yeah, so uh, it, it, it gives a space for the sea turtles to escape and the, uh, the there is like net in the middle. So the small fish go in the net and the, Sea turtles can escape from that and come out to the ocean again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then another thing we can do to conserve the sea turtles is minimize the disposing of marine pollutants such as polythene and plastic. So uh, as I explained earlier, the marine pollution has been a great threat. And uh, if we if we want uh, if we should we should uh, minimize the marine pollutants to conserve the sea turtles and the other aquatic organisms as well. Uh, yeah, boys, uh, we have a small video regarding the conservation and the threats for the sea turtles. We we'll look for them. that sea turtles have been living on planet Earth since the time of the dinosaurs? Around 110 million years. There are seven different species of sea turtles, six of which, green, hawksbill, Kemp's ridley, leatherback, loggerhead, and the olive ridley can be found throughout the ocean in both warm and cool waters. The seventh species, the flatback, lives only in Australia. What's amazing about sea turtles is that after years traveling the open ocean, they return to the nesting grounds where they were born to lay their eggs. In their voyage from nesting to feeding grounds, some species will travel more than 1,000 miles. But life is filled with danger for a sea turtle, especially the hatchlings. 
On the beach, birds, crabs, raccoons, even foxes will eat hatchlings. And if hatchlings make it to the ocean, they are still tasty snacks for seabirds and fish. However, the greatest threats to sea turtles aren't from natural predators, they're from humans. Accidental catch in commercial fisheries or entanglement in marine debris are serious threats to sea turtles, as well as destruction of beach habitat, harvesting or poaching for meat and eggs, and even boat strikes. But people aren't just sitting by. Nations are working together to protect and conserve sea turtles. In 1981, an international agreement made it illegal to trade all seven species of sea turtles and their eggs, shells, or meat internationally. Governments are figuring out ways to reduce bycatch, such as requiring new designs of fishing gear and changes to fishing practices to make them less likely to capture turtles. And marine protected areas are being established in important sea turtle habitats. Conservation organizations are working with local communities to help change fishing practices, as well as transition incomes away from turtle harvesting and toward turtle tourism. Other local efforts include working to reduce sources of marine debris, monitoring sea turtle nests to protect them from poaching, and passing laws that prevent irresponsible development on known nesting beaches. A healthy ocean depends on sea turtles, and sea turtles need our help. Yeah, so guys, I hope you all understood and learned something from that video. So yeah, as I said earlier, uh, sea turtles are very important for us as they eat all the algae and all from this ocean. So I hope all of you all after looking at this uh, will minimize your protein and plastic usage and all in uh, order to help them. So yeah, let's uh, one. Uh, yeah, Mali. So, if you all know any interesting facts or anything about sea turtles, this would be the time to go ahead and share it with all of us, Mali. Or if you all have any questions or anything, Mali, yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, go to next one. Yeah, that will be it for today's lecture, Mali. So, I hope you all uh, enjoyed and learned something about sea turtles. Uh,